Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing okay. Uh, for, for, first and foremost, uh, tomorrow is uh, Christmas Eve. It is a, a short session, right? It's an abbreviated session. Uh, the doubt the market closes at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, I will be there tomorrow. So for all you guys who are trading tomorrow, uh, business as usual, morning strategy, and everything that comes in between. And for all you guys who are taking tomorrow off, I know a lot of you guys already started taking today off. I want to wish you guys a uh, happy and healthy uh, Merry Christmas, right? And uh, hopefully I will see you in the webinar next week. And if not, Happy New Year. We'll see each other in January. Uh, so here's what the most amazing part about uh, today's session was. Um, if you guys noticed, if you guys noticed, um, I'm pretty good at I'm pretty good at establishing value in the morning. Okay. And when I woke up today, and I woke up today and I looked at, you know, I looked at the board, right? I looked at all the 60 minute channels of all the names that I trade. I turned around, and I go, it's really not a lot of value. Okay. Apple looks pretty good. Tesla, you know, it looks like it wants to go for that 420 run. But there really isn't something, you know, there really isn't anything there that I'm saying, wow, this market. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll give you a good directional bias of which way the market actually goes. Because again, for me, the market is the NASDAQ 100. It's the Qs, the member of the Qs. And it's kind of the same names I trade over and over again. So when I started putting in names like Workday and SE and DTIL and Vico and DT and DDOG, you know, we, we talked about in the room tonight. I said, man, I would be shocked. And I said this, I would be shocked if we had a macro aggressive day today would be absolutely shocked. And, and the most important part of that statement is, again, like I always said, look, you don't need to trade, right? And that's the first thing I even put on the Twitter feed, because again, a lot of you guys are not in the live webinars. So you guys don't know, uh, you know, you just don't know the echo sentiment that I'm in. So I said, remember, we trade because there's value, not because the market's open. It's all about reward versus risk, not the other way around. And I said, look, when you see me putting in names like this, right? Again, you're not exactly looking at a premium day. But this is why we play the game, right? This is exactly why we play the game. This is not a business that is cut and dry. Variables move around um, and moving parts shift. And next thing you know, you're actually getting some value. And if you actually look at how the day turned out, uh, I was very, very surprised, and actually shocked at the level of value that we actually had the day before uh, the day before Christmas, which was, which is, which is very, very uh, surprising. Right? Let's just say that, like, and I had, I really didn't want to trade today. Once I looked at the board today, I said, ah, okay, you know, you know, this, you know, Roku looks okay. And we'll talk about Roku in a second. Amazon maybe it goes today. Ah, eh, it's not going today. Uh, I go, I don't want to trade. You know, I don't want to chase Tesla. The, you know, the, the three fifteen opening range high. Ah, eh, just don't want to do it. You know, it's just not. It. So I was willing to sit it out today. Um, I, I'm not going to jeopardize uh, capital to the force of trading. And I said, hey, listen, if we get a couple of trades today, if we even get one, that'd be great. If not, you know, tomorrow's a new day. And when you look at how the market played out today, uh, again, the Dow up 100, not really the big story. The composite up 20, not really the big story. Tesla going to 420 secured, not really the big story. The big story is, again, the most amazing feeling, okay, when you're trading for a long time, and even some of you newer traders in the live webinar are really seeing it very firsthand, very, very quickly. The most powerful feeling, okay, is being in control of your trading. And you don't need to trade until the water is right. You dip your big toe, you feel, you know, you feel something good, and you're off to the races. And today provided uh, surprisingly really good value. So let's talk about it. again, macro-wise, again, the, the, the record hasn't the record hasn't stopped playing. It's the same song over and over again. We're just going higher, right? We're going higher. Uh, Tesla's still going higher. Everything is going well. Small caps are waking up. Large caps are waking up. Beta's a solid rotation. Even Boeing, for the love of God, woke up today. So, uh, you know, some, some interesting stuff. But if you look at the names that we usually trade, for the exception of Apple and Roku up here, we'll talk about that in a second, 
everything was these random names, okay? Just absolute random names. Let's, and again, let's kind of start with, uh, and this was a big mover, by the way. I saw, I mean, I didn't trade this TA. I had no interest on in it. But this TA off the watch list just went just bananas. I mean, absolutely bananas. We highlighted this um, last night on the video uh, off that $16 level. I mean, this thing went to almost $19. It's an absolute crazy move. If you did take this trade, God bless. I didn't see it until I started charting tonight. But again, if you look at the pivots today in the room, unorthodox names, yes. Uh, but again, like I said before, pivots don't care if you're trading a $2 stock, a $20 stock, or a $2,000 stock. As long as you have expansion volume, expansion channels, uh, good things are usually going to happen. So let's talk about this. Uh, Workday uh, never triggered, never even came close. I still like the 67, 75, uh, 68 level. Again, just remember, guys, just because a stock doesn't confirm the following day doesn't mean it's off the table. Please set an alert on it. Uh, SE traded right to that level. Uh, it still needs to build. It, it never built. It traded up to 39, 36. If this thing starts building again over tomorrow over that 39, 40, uh, 39.50, I think it could go. This one was just a monster. Apple just 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 lost its mind. It got upgraded today and all that good stuff. And we talked about this 281, right? Here was 281, uh, this 281 channel, the sneaky pivot right here, 281, and you know it exploded. Just, I mean, absolutely exploded. Uh, not only you know it took out 81 and stopped the 282, 83, it took out the 52 week high and went all the way to uh, almost 84 and change. So. Huge move on Apple. Absolutely huge move on Apple. Uh, this DTIL, I mean, talk, talk about a monster. Uh, DTIL, again, not something that I would trade, but good knows. I mean, look at this thing. DTIL, we talked about this $15 break. And yes, it did this, right? Wait, wrong stock. Hold on. My DT, did I get the symbol wrong? DTIL? No, it's a $15. Oh, no, here, here it is. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got the symbol right. So here is DTIL. It took out the 15, okay, it went to 16.65 whatever 1665 and then came back in so crazy move there uh vico uh vico slow slow moving stock uh vico 1495 we talked about this uh 1495 15 dollar level still looks good uh it traded as high as like 1530s still moving up here and then things got things got pretty good so again after i kind of you know after i kind of settled in for the day you know, I was just watching some other things. I wasn't really, you know, really interested. And then um, I forgot who it was. I think it was trying to give, um, I, I apologize. I just don't remember who called this out in the webinar. Okay. And they said, hey, LK is about to break out. So LK broke out, right? So LK broke out above this 3360 area, went to 3430s, right? And you started seeing these massive, massive, massive call buying come in. The 36s, the 36 and a half, the 37s, like really aggressive. So I bought the first pullback. You know, I bought the first pullback into the five, uh, into the five minute support. Okay, and this thing was right here, literally in the five minute support. I had no time. I think I think most of us in the, in the live webinar caught this trade. This was a phenomenal trade. I just had no time uh, to put it into uh, the Twitter feed. It was just, it was just there. There wasn't a pivot. The, the pivot already exploded 70 cents higher. We were just getting the pullback. Um, so I, we literally bought it on the pullback in the rising five minute support and this thing exploded. It went from 3380s all the way to 36, definitely the trade of the day. Um, I was one and done. I was literally one and done, uh, after that trade, but it was really good. Congratulations for all you guys who caught that trade. I know some of you guys are still swinging. Awesome. Awesome. move. Uh, I was pretty happy about the trade. Uh, NVIDIA never got down to 3830 and then Roku, right? This was kind of like, at lunchtime, you know, this is kind of like a lunchtime surprise. Like Roku uh, just woke up, you know, really woke up here. 138, 80, 139 needs to build. Um, and again, again, it's all about sneaky channels. And here's the 138, right? Here's the 138, 80, 39 level and went right to 41 and change. Very, very impressive. You see this whole level, guys? This is the level. This is the macro level. If it confirms tomorrow, okay, if this thing confirms tomorrow, whatever, at some point, in the future and starts reclaiming this like 142 area and starts building the next level you know you could get a move from 42 to 45 to 47 very very quickly so guys uh definitely definitely uh settler so that so that was a really really strong move on roku um apple ridiculous here's the first supply and then just just took off after that and I think that's it. So it was it was a very unorthodox day. A lot of names that we 
probably wouldn't trade, right? But again, you know, you know, the market gives you what it gives you. Again, the market doesn't care that you want to trade beta. It doesn't care uh, that you want to trade anything. What it's going to do is put you in a situation that you're going to make tough choices, either trade properly, trade effectively, uh, trade passively. If you, if you are not 100% conviction of your process, don't trade at all. But again, the most important po point is make it to the next day. And I think going into tomorrow, look, we got a half day. Um, I like some of the value. I do. I like some of the value. Um, you know, again, materialistically, nothing has changed. There's nothing macro uh, we could talk about. But let's start out, right? Let's start out with tomorrow's session. Ready for this? You know, ready for this, guys? Amazon's about to go, right? Maybe Amazon goes tomorrow, okay? And I've been saying this literally. I could have made this recording four months ago and literally played it back on loop every day because every single day, Amazon looks on the 60 minute channel like it's about to wake up. The next day goes right into supply. It's about to confirm and then and then and then over and over and over. So again, for the 86th time in the last four months, maybe finally tomorrow Amazon wakes up, clear supply. We could actually get a good move in this lifetime or the next. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, so let's talk, let's talk about some other ideas uh, that I definitely like for tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.